Harry looks subtly miserable. Sussex cries bitterly begging Charles after unhappy life in US. Prince Harry looks subtly miserable and may miss a life of duty, a royal biographer has claimed. Royal author Hugo Vickers said that members of the royal family often fail to find happiness when they step away from their duties. He also implied that Prince Harry may be trying to compete with King Charles III, saying that the most successful members of the royal family are those who support the monarch rather than compete with them. He referenced the Duke of Windsor, the former king who abdicated after just 325 days on the throne after facing opposition to his marriage to Wallace Simpson. The author said that both Prince Harry and Edward VIII seemed to radiate sadness after cutting ties with the royal family. Speaking at the Henley Literary Festival, Mr. Vickers said, As for members of the royal family stepping away, I don't think it usually leads to happiness in the long run. I don't think it did with the Duke of Windsor. As for the Duke of Sussex, who knows what is going to happen to him, but he looks subtly miserable. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepped back from royal duties in March 2020. Since then, they have only returned to the UK together three times. Fellow royal author Tina Brown said that the couple appeared to be uncomfortable when they returned to Britain for the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations in June. The couple played a minimal role in the celebrations, making just one public appearance at the service of Thanksgiving at St Paul's Cathedral. They arrived in the UK for the start of the weekend but reportedly left before Sunday's festivities were over. Speaking about their return to the UK on ITV's Lorraine, Ms Brown said, It clearly was uncomfortable that they were there but not really present. It was awkward. She added, I don't think it's what he wanted in terms of the way he played out. I think there was a slight fantasy that he had that he can be in and out. But you can't pick and choose and you can't be in and out. He served his country for ten years, he was always in the middle of all that and I think it must have been, for him, quite poignant and difficult. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may feel they have been hung out to dry following bombshell claims in an explosive new book, a royal expert has said. The couple quit the UK in 2020 and moved to the United States where they have been critical of their time as working royals. And now a new book by royal author Valentine Lowe, which is published on Thursday, has made several claims about what went on during the pair's short time as working royals. The book Courtiers, The Hidden Power Behind the Crown says that some of the couple's staff were left in tears when they discovered the couple had secretly made plans to escape royal life. It also says that staff who have previously worked for them dubbed themselves the Sussex Survivors Club. And with the release of the book, royal expert Duncan Larkin believes Harry and Meghan will have flee hung out to dry. He told OK. Magazine, some of the people involved will have felt aggrieved at Meghan's hands, and they're free to speak to writers like Valentine. Harry and Meghan are going to see these accusations appearing in Valentine's book and I think they are going to believe they have been hung out to dry. The Queen's death last month saw Harry and Meghan reunited with their royal relatives as they came together to mourn the late monarch, who passed away at her Balmoral retreat at the age of 96. As well as attending the state funeral and other events, the pair joined Harry's estranged brother Prince William and his wife Kate for a walkabout in Windsor.